Salibu Nani Emakaya and welcome to another episode of the Friday Night Session. My name is Beto Riz Intana Yepumula Emma Tonkin and today we've got a special guest. She goes by the name of Okay, before I tell you about her name, she's a beautiful lady. She's talented. She's a very good dancer. I know you guys are going to be blown away. She goes by the name of No Vuyo Seagull. <laughs> no, we should have drum rolling right now. <laughs> yes, you should. We should have drum Where rolls are right they? now. Where are they? Mom, thank you first of all. Much. First, of, first of all, I want to say thank you for coming to the show. Thank you. Uh, you're looking me. good. Thank you're you. looking gorgeous, by the way. And we want to know who's No Vuyo Seagull. We want to know what she does. Okay. So just take us through your profile and such. All right. Um, thank you for having me, first and foremost. Um, I appreciate the love, the support, and... You're in, welcome. It's a pleasure. <laughs> in brief, uh, Novia Seagull is a 29-year-old mother of one. I am a singer, songwriter, actress, slash um, dancer, choreographer, slash sound engineer, music wow. producer. Wow. Um, yeah. So you know your ways around keys and everything. Of course, well. darling. Yes. <laughs> Music it, it lives in me. So basically, I was born and bred right here in Ulawayo, the city of Kings and Queens. Very own. Uh, <laughs> yes. And I'm a twin. Uh, most oh, you've got a twin? Yep. There's a photocopy of me. Serious, is it? Like, you're you looking look at same. me right now, you seeing her, so you might get confused when she ignores you in town. Maybe I've actually met her. Yeah, but you don't really know. So, yeah. And, yeah, I'm a mother of one. And, um, basically, in brief, that's it. I'm, I'm a lot of things, hey. I... There's it's a just, lot. There's a lot, a lot to tell. Just, to tell. Look, we've got time. I mean, we've got time. We're what? FNS. We've got all the time <laughs> in the world. I can um, take you through the, the journey. The next thing, the next thing I want you to take me through is mm -hmm. your journey to self-discovery, as in to to discover your name and your sound. I want you to tell me and the audience how it all started. How did it start? Do when it. did you know? What you know? This is my moment. I um, think, this is what I want to do. I think as I was growing up, I grew up with a lot of inspiration, um, w w surrounded by music. I, 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 say, I sang a lot at church. And I, I just, I, I think I discovered myself at a very young age. At school, I was involved in drama. Uh, I was uh, always singing, I found myself in drama clubs, dancing, it's I'm acting or I'm singing, I'm doing that. And I remember my first ever performance um, in front of a huge audience was at my aunt's wedding. I was only in grade three by then. Grade three and you can stand in front of... You know, I, I went there, I, I saw myself in front of the TV. I was watching a Coffee Olomide song and oh. I was imitating. Then next thing my uncle was like, was like you're going to dance at the wedding. I didn't Just want, like I was shy, but then... Boom, bang, me and my twin sister were nailing the stage. Just like that. Just like that. Grade six, I saw myself participating in a, an old school competition drama. And I was I won best actress from wow, old school. In, imagine. It was so it was it by my cat yeah. it just started at a young age. Mm -hmm. And then as I was growing up, I, I thought I wanted to be a nurse. At some point I thought I want to be a, a, a psychologist. And then when I finished my O-levels, I passed with flying colors. I was meant to go further for my A-levels. Bang, I saw myself, I went to St. Columbus High School. So I pa literally passed by Amakosi every day. So I met Begazela. They, I saw myself backing him in one of his shows. While I was at St. Columbus. And I was doing that back, background because my dad didn't want. He, didn't, he wasn't in support of those things. So after high school, I saw myself with Bambalela, Bamba, Bambata Actors Center, where I went to further my studies in terms of acting to up, 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 so upgrade that's, my that's skills. Also locally in, that's in that's local. So it was part, it was an affiliate of Amakosi. And then at some point after that, I saw myself doing radio dramas that were paying me so much money, so good, good money. And I was like, there's no way I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do anything else. And then next thing, I found myself with Itong Zumkangala, which was run by Sandan Debele. 
And then I think initially, that's way professionally, I started getting involved in terms of arts in general. I went to Germany with, with Indom Zomgangala in 2011. That was my first tour. I did Austria, I did Russia the very same year. Wow. Next year, I saw myself growing. I saw myself with Omocha Cultural Flying Carpet. Mm. I did two years with them. I taught Mozambique, I taught South Africa. Next year, I saw myself, the, the coming years, I saw myself with Starbright. I won Starbright 2015. I Shout went as a solo. Shout out to that. <laughs> yeah, I went as a solo. And because I was always with my twin sister and my cousin. So we were always together. We even formed a band in 2014, which did so well in the city. Hey, we were traveling all over Bulawayo and out of Bulawayo. And 2015, I did. I went solo. I did stop right then. I, that's when Novu Your Seagull was born. So that's when I took it as a, I, I, I went solo and I, I had my breakthrough 2015. From there onwards, I never looked back. And then I saw myself enrolled at the College of Creative Arts Africa for my sound engineer, uh, in engineering and music production, uh, higher diploma. That's where I met my producer, my main producer, Lane Sabron. That's where AEO was born. My first uh, hit single, Did the Things. Hey, that song is just too much. You too know, much. It's so amazing. It, it came very unexpectedly. I didn't even see it coming because we recorded in a classroom jokingly. Like, one of those things. I always wondered, I always wondered, like, a lot of people would want to understand how you came to actually making a song out of vowels. -O -O, you know, as you know, the primary <laughs> kind of You know, the funny thing is, I, it wasn't thought. I, I didn't even realize me recording in a classroom meant that it will align with uh, the theme of the song and everything. Because we were just recording with a laptop, Skype mic, nothing fancy. We didn't have a studio. So we got into one of those classrooms, closed the doors, and we recorded. We even tried to mic the to itemize the laptop so that, to soundproof the laptop so that we- Oh, you did that as well. We did, as a, it, it, we did that as well. So to my surprise, when the song, when, when the song went on, on radio, okay, actually when the song came out, Lens was like, ah, let's share the song. Let's just share let's the song. Share we just sent it to groups. Next thing, song was trending. People were like, hey, it's a song from South Africa. Because really that song, it's been trending. You go to the Vista. It it would play, just play. You go whichever club, club you, you want to go. You I, find the song. Playing. I didn't see all that coming. Next thing, I was playing on, on Star FM. I didn't even know how I got there. A friend just took my song there. Next amazing, thing, they're yeah. looking for me and interviews. Left, right, and center. Everyone is looking for this novio seagull. Next thing, I'm seeing myself all the way to Harare. ZFM is wanting me. Capital. Everyone is looking for novio seagull. Next thing, I see myself on stage. Stage, sharing the stage with Japreza, wow. Winky D, XQ. Yeah. That was my first big, biggest um, show locally. I'm seeing myself, I'm sharing the stage and I'm the only female artist in the lineup. And it's so amazing and I couldn't believe it. Hey, it's been a journey. I've got a lot to tell. You've, you've been through a lot yep. and you probably have used a lot of energy, a lot Dude. of determination for you. I want to know, like, you do a lot of things. How do you manage the pressure? Dude, I think I just I just go. I just wake up and, so and, it's a and, and go. Thing, you know? A God-given thing. I think it's a God-given thing because I'm a mom. I'm a, I'm a student. I'm a, a daughter. My mom wants to see her she things done. She yes. wants the house she clean. Wants she wants dinner cooked. And my mama bashu. Bashu pause. Yeah, no more lele lazo. No more lazo. Do you need collaboration? Maybe with the likes of which are present. Is it so? Can't get simple. Yeah, I was saying. You know those days, I'm a zai shupa. Yeah, I'm a zepeli. We're not any plan. And and we're not out there. We celebrate. But she, she, she doesn't, she doesn't care. Yeah. So it's a lot of things, but I don't know. I don't even know how I do that. I mean, I think it's God, because the pressure is too much. I have got to do gigs. I have got to uh, rehearse. Really, I've got really to do, do studio you time. Really do work hard. So I I'll try, my G. Really do work hard. I do. So I'm, I, I'm going to ask you something. <laughs> this is a question that I ask almost all my guests that come to the show, because I believe the audience or the promoters, be it 
Anyone who's out there who wants to understand more about music, I believe it's essential they understand it from a point of view. Mm -hmm. They're my artists yeah. about it that actually get to write music. Maybe they can appreciate it more. You understand? So I want to know what are the principles and beliefs you think somebody should have? Okay. Before they can start maybe being um, being an artist or writing music, like the principles. For me, I've always said, without discipline as an artist, you, 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 you have no future. I'm into that. Secondly, determination breeds, breeds success. You can't expect things to fall from the sky without putting extra work to them. You gotta be determined, you gotta work extra hard. You're gonna, you, you have to go extra miles. You have to do the undoable to make things happen. Things to just come on a silver platter, you work for them. Yes. So work hard, be disciplined. I always also say that your attitude determines where you're going. If you're going to be bougie, let me not say bougie. If you're going to be negative and act like you have arrived, my G, you never arrive in this industry. That's very you true. You never arrive. You may have 20 hours to your name, but that's not the destination. You can be 40 and have your biggest breakthrough at 40. So just because now I am only in my 20s and I've achieved this much, it doesn't mean I've arrived. There's a lot, lot more to be achieved. That's very insane. So attitude will take you places. There's a lot of things. My principles, I, I'm, okay, there's a book that I would like people, refer to people so that they can read. I, I always abide by that book. I always read it every day of my life. There's a page I wake up to. I've even uh, written some sort of uh, a clips, uh, I, I don't know how to put it, paste. I paste on my wall every day. I have to wake up to certain motivational quotes from that book so that I know my purpose. I remember why I'm doing this. I'm motivated to keep going. I remind myself that this is why you are living. This is why you're doing this. So go and find a book called Talent is Not Enough. Um, I've been looking at our industry mm. in terms of music. I've been looking at the music industry. I've been looking at our situation, mm -hmm. Singapore, Wobulawai, Kontutu. And it really hurts me because most of the people that come on the show, mm -hmm. most of the artists that I come across, they express an issue with the hey, e industry, yes, Limaza, Ganja, Ganja, yeah. no support whatsoever. I know, you right? Know. So I wanted to know your insight and how we can improve that situation. And then I'll tell Abantu to stop complaining. You can whine and whine and whine, but if you're not doing anything about it to solve your problems, what, what, what's the point? So There's whom no point. are you whining to? Like, you can cry all you want, but instead of crying, instead of spending your time whining and complaining and crying, find solutions to your problems. I mean, you can't sit at home and say, Angela Mali, yeah. You can't depend on one stream of... We have to be resourceful yes. instead of actually crying. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Do something, research, find ways how we can conquer this, how we can move on as an industry. If you see what I... Art is not giving you uh, much, guys. As an individual, you should know what is Zimbabwe. You can't depend on one stream of e-revenue. No ways. You have to do other things on the side. Have side hustles. Abanye ama side hustles abo bangu. Patting simple. Yeah. Abanye ama patting. 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 Exactly. You know. So you you gotta shagani pa even no businessmen out there. But then ama celebrities. Ama celebrities. They've got a tendency of saying. Uh, just because I'm a musician, I'm a celebrity, I'm a celebrity, I'm a celebrity. Not understanding the, the country we are in, 
the industry we are in doesn't allow us to live that kind of a life. You know what? Just be humble. Simple. Be humble. Be humble. Be humble. Like, even if someone laughs at your hustle, when I, you know what you say, it's this come as at the end of the day, when I was operated as an individual, I know our industry is very messed up. Like, I mean, when I started, I was always complaining. I was always crying because, damn, it's brutal. It's honestly brutal. I will have my platform. I will have my pr uh, uh, there's not much platforms where you can perform and get money, proper good money, compared to other places like uh, Harare, for instance, not even to go far as SA, you know, Speaking well, I, of our country, you realize the money that you get paid. Mina, uh, I am considered as one of the top artists, but I can go, I can perform a stage in which I present la blowing it. Of course, they are above me. They have the big fish, but but the payments they never they they are never the same. And if you go to Arare, Mina Arare let me tell you something. Arara loves me. Your social platform equally. I've got Arara. so much support yeah. in Arara. I'll say this out loud and I, I don't even care. Uh Bulawa Vele Ile syndrome. Yoguti, I support. Our own people are so biased and they are so taken by foreign things. They would rather buy a South African song. That was just that can that that is just recent. Prince KP can release a song right now. People can go. And yes, cloud, is, comments. cloud is Spotify. Mm. 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 But still, mm. they don't support They don't. Very so, own. so mm. in as much as we try to push, 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 you have a Facebook, but on social media, wow, I'm seeing the please about to share everywhere. You realize for you to <laughs> reach a level of what is visible to that extent, it's very low. I don't know, maybe it's not just linking, or maybe we lack somewhere in terms of marketing. Our marketing tools maybe are wrong, or maybe we target the wrong market. But to be honest, Kobula, uh, <laughs> they hardly support. And I'll say, I'll, I'll keep saying this until I die. Kobula, I very much drive and was a because of Lina. So anyways, uh, it is what it is. The truth has to be spoken. We have to adapt. We have to adapt. So if you see with our seven Z, I'm now focusing on the outside market because I've seen that this ain't working for me. I'm now focusing where I'm mostly appreciated. But we need, we that's, need, we which need something. That's we need a solution, man, to make this situation Muk better. I'll give you an example. Mukumba Band is hardly known here in, in Zimbabwe. But they're the biggest, they tour worldwide. So they're being appreciated, they're being appreciated outside in our own, of their own, in our country. own country. So I'll just say, guys, humble up seven zelagon. Focus <laughs> where it's working for you. If you if you are humble, we will be able to appreciate. Hi, can you help me up on seven zel and go get the money in your pass? That's it, guys. We really need to be totally supporting you, Engine. Mo mama, mo koko. Please just support your very own, because. Into everywhere, Guti, you start claiming these very same people. When they made it. On. You see? So, Guti, ah, I'm going to go to the house. It really doesn't work like it that. It doesn't work and like that. And when they say, Stop when now. they're coming out, actually, when they're giving articles, they don't even mention Guti Ngabanga because you neglected them. Yeah, Felix is a peak. Njenga is a peak. So, you heard it first. You heard it first. <laughs> so, when can people find your music? All right, I'm all over digital stores. I'm on. Everywhere, iTunes, you can find me, Spotify, Tida, everywhere. Even Facebook, even you know IG, you can search me, you can find me. Uh, What's your social media handle? My social media handles are for my for my IG, Sigal Novio, for my Twitter, Sigal Novio again, for my fan page though, it's Novio Dash Sigal. So you're going to perform two songs today, I understand? Mm -hmm. but tell, tell us more about the songs. All right, the first one is gonna be Aayo Sin. My favorite. Yeah, it's your favorite. Obvious, obvious. <laughs> it's a special request by you. Thank because you. Because you asked. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and then the the last one I'm gonna do is in Bogoto, my um, latest offering. Um, in I've Bogoto. actually checked out that song. Really? The content in it. What do you think? It's so mature. And yeah, go toba in a way. Aww. Do you understand? So Aww. if even when I'm listening to it, yes, it just instills that kind of yeah, mentality. I can't. I love the songs. I so appreciate strong. it. And for those that don't know that what Imbo Water means, Imbo Water simple means uh, refers to a woman of rock. Uh, simple means you struck a rock. 
you, stri- you strike a woman, mm-hmm. you strike a rock. Exactly. So yeah, when I did that song, um, I had women in mind. I was trying to celebrate Women's Month mm-hmm. with everyone, with every kind of woman and their struggles. So Embo is a song that expresses uh, women's struggles, daily, modern day struggles. Uh, acknowledging that women go through a lot, but they are hardly celebrated, and that's their successes per se are hardly celebrated. So Imboto shines a spotlight on them. I so see. to every woman out there who is in Imboto, who is strong, who've had it all, all the experiences, and they are still strong, standing still and fighting. It's a dedication to you. You know what, Sigo? It was nice having you on the show. Thank, Thank you. you very much for coming on the platform. I appreciate Ladies it. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Sigo, and we are now moving on to the performance section. My favorite. You see me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And also follow us on Twitter. We are FNS Momentum. On Facebook, we are FNS Momentum. On Instagram, we are FNS underscore Momentum. Draw! Bad boy. Sending